hello on this friday the eighteenth day of april two thousand eight i'm kristen volk with a upi headline update pope benedict the sixteenth is in new york today to deliver an address to the united nations benedict's speech comes one day after he met privately with victims who were sexually abused by priests as children at today's meeting the pope is expected to address human rights and ethical and moral principles in society He'll also visit Ground Zero and lead a mass at Yankee Stadium. And there are no reports of any major damage in the Midwest after a magnitude 5.2 earthquake rattled southern Illinois this morning. People as far north as Michigan and as far west as Des Moines, Iowa reported feeling the quake. Buildings apparently swayed in Chicago's loop while people's houses shook and windows rattled. The U.S. Geological Survey said it was the second largest earthquake to ever hit the region. The biggest one in 1968 had a magnitude of 5.4. And British Prime Minister Gordon Brown says the world owes George Bush a huge debt of gratitude for his efforts against terrorists. The two leaders met at the White House yesterday to discuss the issues of terrorism, Iran and the economy. Bush responded saying that Brown shares a determination with the U.S. to stop evil men. This was the second time that the Prime Minister visited the U.S. since taking office in November. And Senator Barack Obama says he doesn't see any point in having another debate with his rival, Senator Hillary Clinton. Obama says he has a lot of campaigning to do in a limited amount of time. The two Democrats went head-to-head -head in a debate Wednesday night where they largely rehashed the controversies that have marked their campaigns recently. Clinton agreed to a debate next week, but Obama hasn't accepted the invitation yet. And that's all for now. Go to UPI.com and watch our new story called Too Elderly to Vote. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.